Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a detailed review on Amazon Basics 5 Cup Coffee Maker. So it comes out of the box pretty easy. There's the coffee pot. So it comes in this box that's made for it and it doesn't take up, they ship it in the box that it comes in. And then it doesn't have a very big footprint. That's the coffee maker. Okay, so this coffee maker looks really nice. It's just got a simple on off button, relatively short extent, uh, cord, little bitty, little bitty coffee cup or coffee pot with a lid. It does have a warming plate that does get hot. It's got a sight glass. Comes with a little reusable filter. And there's the filter basket. It does have that plunger on the bottom for pause brewing. The water goes in the back. Doesn't look like any place for um, a filter. And the brew head is on top. So it's pretty much, it's got some vent, all plastic. It's got the Amazon logo right there. You know, and in the back of it's got if we overfill it, water's gonna come out there. No cord storage. So front to back, this thing about seven inches. Side to side, maybe seven inches. And then you do have to lift the lid up. And with the lid up, so with the lid up, it is about 17 inches. And with the lid down, Maybe about ten and a half inches. So not a really big footprint at all. Okay, so I've got it plugged in and it's just got the switch on the front. Nice thing about it is it's lit. So when it's to the right, that's on. And to the left is off and the, and the light is out. So that's going to start the brew process and it's going to start that warming plate. So you have to manually shut it off every time. Okay, so if this is your first time using it, the manual recommends two or three brewing cycles without coffee. So we're going to leave the filter in and we're not going to put any coffee here. We're just going to put water back here and turn it on. So I'm going to fill this up to the five mark. You ever wonder why coffee pots have this uh, hinged lid? I think it's so you can fill them up with water easier. Otherwise you'd try to be hitting, putting water in that little hole. So, And if this was my fir first use, I would clean this with soap and water. And I would also clean both of these. Um, these are dishwasher safe top rack, but I would just wash them off with soap and water. But we're just going to put water. Water goes in the back here. The coffee pot pours real good. Okay, then we're going to put the pot down. We're going to close the lid. We've got the water in. So we're just going to run water through here. It says two or three times, and that's just to kind of help clean the inside of it where the heating element is and everything. So I'm gonna run um, two waters through here and then we'll, then we'll brew some coffee. Okay, so it's done running the um, water through it. Now we're gonna dump this out and we're gonna brew a pot of coffee. Okay, so we're done with that water. Now I filled this up with just fresh water and we'll, I got the switch back off. We're not ready to brew yet. Now here is the, re this is a reusable coffee filter comes with. Now these are okay, but you can also use uh, paper filters. And they sell a four cup basket style coffee filter. Now I'm gonna do a cup, I'm gonna do a pot of coffee with the paper filter and the basket. These are nice, but I'm gonna show you, you get sediment in your coffee when you brew it. With a paper filter, you don't get any sediment. But first, let's just yeah, keep going over this. Um, like I said, this is the this is the filter. We're going to put our coffee here. This is the filter basket. So again, you, it's got a place where it goes. Make sure you've got kind of this ear so that it's down. You don't want it kind of over here. You won't be able, well, you might be able to close the lid, but it's not going to brew right. So make sure this big ear is over here and it's kind of sitting flush. And then we're going to put the filter in. Then we're going to add our coffee. So unfortunately, the manual's not very helpful. It says, fill the filter with medium grind coffee, maximum 35 grams. Well, that's, that's not much help at all. So here we have Folgers, classic roast ground coffee. 
And if you look at the serving size, one serving size, six fluid ounces, one tablespoon. That is almost the same. So one serving is almost the same as one of these cups on this coffee pot. So we can put up to five tablespoons of coffee in this. So if you want to just brew like up to the three cup mark, you would just put three tablespoons. But I've got it filled up to the five. So we're going to put five tablespoons of coffee in our filter. Okay, so since I'm going to do the complete five cups, I'm going to put five of these tablespoons. So we're just going to put one, two, three, four, five. So I've got my coffee grounds in there. We're going to put the water right here. Again, this coffee pot pour is really nice. We're going to put the coffee pot back down here. We're going to close this. Make sure that snaps. I've got a sight glass. My water's up to that point. And I'm just going to turn the switch on. That's going to turn the warming plate on. And it's going to start the brew process. There's a heater down inside here. And that's going to boil that water. And it's going to, it's going to percolate it on top of the filter grounds. Out this brew head right here. Okay, so this is something a little unusual. I'm seeing two lines. So if you look here, they've got like a coffee and the water line. So I get why they do that. So you're gonna fill it up to here if you want five cups. But when it's all said and done, it's only gonna come up to here because you lose some to evaporation. So say you wanted four, this is the fill up line. So you fill the water up to this line, but when it's done brewing, it's just to the four cup mark. I've never seen that on a coffee pot. That's a, that's a little different. So let's take a look. Be careful. This can be hot inside here. But we're just going to take a look at it brewing. Okay. So see the water is coming out of the brew head. And then it goes on top of the coffee grounds. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Okay. So that took about four or five minutes. Towards the end, you do get quite a bit of steam coming out this. And this is really hot, so be careful. Well, we can see it's... Did a pretty good job of brewing our coffee. So now let's get it out and see how it tastes. I have noticed, so this coffee pot is just, it doesn't want to come out super easy. I mean, it's just got like, it's kind of caught a little bit. This pour is really nice. I really do like this coffee pot. Now again, that warming plate now will be on the whole time this switch is on. Even though the heating element has stopped brewing the water, with this switch on, that heating element is really hot, so be careful. And that, that's going to keep your pot of coffee warm. Well, that's about standard. Maybe it could be a little warmer. Let's see how it tastes. You know, it's not a bad cup of coffee. So again, here's what the coffee filter looks like. That's where your coffee grounds are. Now, that's the reusable filter. Now, we're going to pour some of the rest of this in this white coffee cup. And I'm going to show you why. We're going to let that sit for just a minute. I'm going to show you what sediment looks like. So we're going to let that sit. But in the meantime, cleanup is pretty easy. So you can take this whole filter basket out. Be careful, that could be just a little hot. But it's not going to drip on you because it's got that plunger at the bottom. Take that over to your trash can, and then there's your filter basket. Now that will drip on you a little bit, but you've got to take this over and get those filter grounds out. Now you can recycle those, put those in your garden, so you can put them in another container, but then you got to uh, wash this out. So you can see, even though I took this to the trash can, you do have to rinse these filters out, and you do get a, some uh, coffee grounds down your sink. Okay, so we just brewed a, cup of co or a pot of coffee with the reusable. Now we're going to use the paper filter. Again, this is four cup basket style. I've got the coffee filter out. We do have, now we have to have the filter basket in there in order to use this. So we're just going to put the filter in there and just kind of make sure it's hugging the walls a little bit. And now we're going to put our five tablespoons of coffee in. Okay, so I got my five tablespoons of coffee grounds in. We're going to put the water in the back again.
coffee pot. We're going to close the lid, make sure it snaps, turn the switch on. That's going to start the brew process of heating up that water and sending it over the uh, coffee pot. So we'll time this and check this for sediment after we're done. So one thing I forgot to show you, it has pause brewing. So if you want to grab a, say it fills, you, it's brewed the coffee up to about here, but it's not done yet. And you want to grab a cup of coffee, you can take this out. And then that plunger you see stops the coffee from coming out. You may get a drip or two. You can pour your coffee. And then when you put it back in, it continues the brew process. We'll see how we're doing. Oh yeah, the paper filter is doing really good too. Okay, so that took about six minutes. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, the coffee grounds did really well. They didn't overflow the filter or anything, so that looks really good. There's our coffee. We're gonna pour a cup. Thing back. Check the temperature. About the same, yeah, about 160. That's pretty standard for a coffee maker. And this tastes really good too. I've had it with the filter and the paper filter and it makes a really good cup of coffee. Okay, so now I've brewed a pot of coffee with the reusable filter. And again, this is like a plastic mesh. It's just a really fine mesh. And then paper filters, of course, are paper. But this is the coffee cup that I use the reusable filter with. I just want to show you now you do get sediment I don't know if sediment is good or bad for you I've never when you get really low you do kind of taste it it's kind of a little gritty but I've never tasted it when you're drinking the coffee normally now let's do the I just brewed this one I've let it sit for a little bit with the paper filter now the paper filter you do get just a little bit nothing near nothing near uh, what you get without so I just wanted to show you that again I don't know if it's good or bad some I think some people actually say the sediment gives it a little bit of a richer flavor or something but I just wanted to show you that that's what you would be getting in your coffee now here's something you're gonna have to remember when you're done with your coffee maker you've got to turn this switch off there's nothing automatic about this coffee maker if you don't turn this switch off even though you've got some coffee in there still with that switch on, it'll heat that it'll heat that up, and eventually that water will go down, and you'll get burnt coffee in the bottom of your pot, and it could crack your pot. So, when you're done, uh, make sure you turn it off. That turns that warming plate off. So let's go over cleanup now. So now clean up with this with the paper filter. You're just going to take see how it doesn't drip on you. There's that little plunger. You're just going to take this over to the trash can and dump it out. This is a really nice feature with that paper filter. So here we have cleanup. Now, normally these come on, the lids come on and off easier than this. This one's a little tricky. I could see that being a weak point of breaking. Um, you're going to want to take the lid off if you put this in the dishwasher. But you just kind of got to push it to one side and then kind of lift up. Normally these are slotted and they just pop in and out. So this is a little different. So all these parts are dishwasher safe, top rack. This is that filter basket. There's the lid and then the reusable filter. Um, is dishwasher safe also so clean up over here you're going to want to wipe that off but be careful um, do it when it's not hot you can wipe that off you may want to wipe this off and wipe the top off once in a while i'm going to do a, another video on how to clean your this coffee maker with white vinegar so you have to descale these coffee makers after you've had them after you use them for about six months and i'm going to show you how to do that with white vinegar so this is a really nice coffee maker it is mainly all plastic um, so it brews five uh, cups in about five to six minutes, which is relatively quick. Just remember to turn the switch on and off when you're done. I brewed it with the reusable filter and with a paper filter. The coffee tastes really good. Um, this is 20 bucks from Amazon, and it's a really big seller for them. So again, this is Amazon Basics, five cup. And you can use any coffee grounds you want. You know, just a, like a normal coffee pot grounds. And again, if you want to just say you don't drink that much coffee... Say you just drink enough up to here. So just put the water up to here, the three cup. And then just add three tablespoons to the filter. And so that just use that ratio. And you know, if it's too strong a coffee for you, just back it off a little bit. Maybe put two tablespoons of coffee grounds in. 
and fill it up to three. So five or six is probably about the max maximum of coffee grounds you want to put in there. So again, this is just a dad. This was a detailed review on this Amazon Basics uh, coffee maker. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.